Lord, hallelujah. Tayo pong lahat ay tumayo ang mami na mahal. Praise the Lord. Let us please rise. Amen. Praise the Lord. To give honor to the Word of God to be delivered by our beloved Bishop Samuel Smith. Palapakan po natin ang ating malamay mami na mahal. Praise the Lord. Tayo pong lahat ay tumayo ang mami na mahal. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And praise the Lord to everybody. It's great to be back in Amarato today. I've been coming here since 1988. I met your beloved evangelist, Wilde Almeida, and his wife, Pastor Alina Almeida, back in the 80s. I've been coming here many, many times. And after four years of being gone from 1985, all through the years, I came to 2019. And then the pandemic hit. This is the first time I've been back since then. But I feel the same anointing, the same presence of God, because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the works that your beloved evangelist, Wilde Almeida, and his wife, Pastor Alina Almeida, they sowed into the Philippines. They sowed into this great church. They sowed into their family. And the day the anointing is upon the Almeida children, upon the staff and the membership, and great things are happening because your destiny is greater than your history. What God has done before, He will do again. Let me tell you something. I have the best job in the world. I've been around the world two times. I've been to Asia 43 times. I've been to Africa 31 times. I've been to Europe 33 times. I've been in 51 nations, even Russia, South Africa. I just came back from a crusade in Ethiopia. 700,000 people. Before that, I was in, in Pakistan. Preached for two weeks in six cities and saw people come to Christ. Before that, I was in, in Uruguay, South, South America. But today, I'm here in Manila, Philippines. And I'm telling you, of all the places I've been, from Russia, South Africa, Ethiopia, all over, Mexico and, and India, one of the greatest churches in the world is the Jesus Miracle Crusade International. There's no church greater. All my experience around the world, I never found a church mightier, more powerful than this church. Because you know who Jesus is, and he knows who you are. God bless you. You may be seated. In the 26th chapter of Acts, in verse 28, we find, we find the words recorded about the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul was a great preacher. He preached everywhere. If you read the book of Acts, he was in Rome. He was in Athens. He was in Smyrna. He was in Laodicea. He was in Corinth. He was everywhere. He, he went everywhere preaching the gospel of Christ. And one day he was called before the king. He stood before King Agrippa. And what was his message? He did not try to impress King Agrippa with intellect. He did not try to impress King Agrippa with, with knowledge, but he told him a story about his conversion, how, how that he had been once a denier of Jesus. He did not know who Jesus was. He, he was a Jew. He believed in only Jehovah. He thought that this Jesus was an imposter. He couldn't believe that Jesus was real. But on the way to Damascus with letters to persecute the church of God, a bright light shone upon him and knocked him to the earth. And, and Paul, being a man that believed in God, he said, My God, my Lord, Jehovah, what are you doing? And the voice spoke to him and said, I am Jesus, whom you persecutest. And the apostle Paul told his story to the king. Once again, he did not try to impress the king with facts. He did not try to impress the king with his oratory. He did not try to impress the king with theology. He simply told him who Jesus is. And King Agrippa said, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. I want to preach today three reasons why I'm a Christian. And three reasons why you should be a Christian. Because everybody in the world, there are eight billion people in the world. All over the world, people know that deep in their heart there's something more than this life. There's something beyond death. There is an uncertainty. So people, they try to find religion. And there are, there are many religions in the world. There are thousands of religions. 
but there's only one salvation. You see, religion is man's attempt to reach God. The Muslims attempt to reach God through Allah and Muhammad. The Hindus attempt to reach God through Krishna and Kali and 10,000 other gods. And the Catholics try to reach God through Mary and through the Pope. But there's only one salvation. You see, there's many religions and man's attempt to reach God, but there's one salvation. That's God's attempt to reach man. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes upon him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves souls. He wants to reveal himself to them. That's why he asked the apostle Peter, who am I? And the apostle Peter said, thou art the Christ. Peter knew who Jesus was. So in the hearts of man, there's a desire to know God. And I believe today among 20,000 people here, you want to know God or you wouldn't be here. Why would you come out on this hot afternoon in Manila? It's hot, no air conditioning, and sit for hours because you know there's a God. And you know you will live forever. And you're coming here to serve God and to know Him. But many people don't know that. That's why we're preaching today. That's why God used the beloved evangelist, his wife, and the children now. This ministry is reaching throughout the Philippines, around the world, around the world that JMCIM is preaching the gospel. Because your message is not some type of theology. It's not some type of man's knowledge. But you're simply telling people who Jesus is. Jesus, miracle crusade. You see, the Bible says that for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Genesis says, In the beginning, God. We did not come from apes. We did not evolve from animals. God made man from the dust of the earth and breathed his nostrils the breath of life. God, in the beginning, there was God. And then John said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The word means the mind of God, the plan of God, the purpose of God, the reason of God. In the beginning was the mind of God, the purpose of God, the reason of God. And John said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the only begotten of the Father, full of glory and grace. That is Jesus. Because when, when the angel came and told Joseph not to worry about taking Mary, that she had not committed sin, but what was conceived in her womb was holy. He said, the prophet, the angel, reminded Joseph, the scripture in Isaiah, a virgin will conceive and bear a child. His name should be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. Anybody in the world that claims to be God or the Son of God, except Jesus, is a false prophet. There's only one Lord one faith and one baptism and jesus christ is that one lord and he is the faith and we must be baptized in his name so today i'm a christian because it helped me know who god is there are good people that are muslims those good people that are buddhists those good people that are catholics those good people that's hindus those good people that's that's confucius but they don't know god and jesus said except you believe that i am he you will perish in your sin Jesus said, I am the way, I am the life, I am the door. No man can enter any other way. The only way that men can be saved has to have their sins forgiven. Sins cannot be forgiven unless they're repented of. How do you repent and tell a God you're sorry if you don't know who he is? So today I'm a Christian because as a Christian I know who Jesus is. He is King of Kings. He is Lord of Lords. He is the one Isaiah said, a virgin will conceive a married child, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. Again, he said, upon his shoulders will be the government. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Who can that be? Who's wonderful? Jesus is. Who's Counselor? Jesus is. Who's the Mighty God? Jesus is. Who's the Everlasting Father? Jesus is. Who's the Prince of Peace? Jesus is. So today, if you want to be saved, I'm telling you the same thing that Paul told Agrippa. He told him who Jesus is. 
And Agrippa was almost persuaded. But I pray today among the 20,000 here that there's some of you who do not yet know Jesus. Don't leave this place. Don't walk out these exits. Don't drop off this property until you make Jesus your God, your King. Many people serve other things. They serve money. They serve the desires of the flesh. But somewhere, someday, you must stop and give it to Jesus. There was a great queen one time. Her name was Queen Victoria. She was the Queen of England. And she reigned for many, many decades. And one day she said, I want to hear from God. She had her priests, she had her bishops, she had her, her professional ministry. They came in their robes and their hats and their staffs and their, and their jewelry and all their, all their things that go with religiosity. But she said, I want to hear from a man of God. And a man of God came to her, his name was Dean Farrar. And Dean Farrar was just a preacher, not a bishop, not an archbishop, not a cardinal, but a pope, but a preacher. And he preached to her, Jesus. And when he got done, Queen Victoria said, when Jesus comes back, I want to put the crown of England at his foot. And Dean Farrar said, Jesus does not need your crown. He does not need the crown of England. He wants your heart. Is there somebody today that will give your heart to Jesus? Turn away from alcohol. Turn away from drugs. Turn away from homosexuality. Turn away from sin. Turn away from the flesh. Turn away from the world. And give yourself to Jesus. Let Jesus be your king. Tell him you love him. Repent of your sins. He said, if any man comes to me, I'm going to know why cast out. In a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to come and pray. And you may be here today and you say, well, I've been here a long time. And it's hot. I, I'm going to hurry. You're not too big a hurry to come down and stand here. And let the elders pray with you as a singer sing and the congregation touches God and God will come down and touch your life. He can forgive your sins and you can be baptized in the name of Jesus and your sins washed away. And today the Holy Spirit can come in your life and give you new life. So I'm a Christian today because number one, it helps me know who God is. For Bible says, for God was manifest in the flesh justified in the spirit, seen of angels, believed on the world, preached of the Gentiles. Who can that be but Jesus? God manifest in the flesh, preached of the Gentiles, justified in the flesh, and received up into glory. That is Jesus. Number two, the reason I'm a Christian. I believe in medical science. Medical science does great things. There are medical clinics all over the world, but if there's diseases they cannot cure. There's things they cannot stop. COVID went rampant, a plague covered the earth, and seven million people died, and medicine couldn't stop it. The medical schools couldn't stop it. I'm telling you, there's things that doctors cannot do, the things that doctors cannot solve, but I'm talking about a healer. For God said, I am the Lord God that forgives all your iniquity and heals all of your infirmities. Jesus Christ is the healer. Remember in John chapter 9, there was a man who had been blind all the days of his life. Think about it. He, was, he had been blind all the He was a beggar, never seen anything. But one day the Bible says, Jesus passed by. And Jesus touched him and spoke words to him. And when, John, when this man in John chapter 9 obeyed the words of Jesus, he was healed. Can I tell you something? Do you believe the Bible? This is the Word of God. The Word of God says, what two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. What name have we gathered in the day? We love the beloved evangelist. We love the pastora. We love the children. I believe you love me, but you do not gather in my name. You do not gather in Almeida name. You gather together in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there. He's passing by. Remember in John chapter 9, the man was blind all of his life, never saw anything. But one day it changed when Jesus passed by. Today, April 16, 2023, your life can change. Here at Amaranto Stadium, 
Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is passing by. And if you'll reach out and touch him, if you'll obey him, he can take care of every need. He can heal your body. He can save your soul. He can bless your marriage. He can touch your home. He can save your children. Jesus Christ does it all. And there was the woman in the book of Mark. She had been sick for 12 years. Remember, she, the Bible says she gave all of her money to doctors. She, for, for 12 years, she was sick, had issue of blood, all her money with the doctors. She did not get better. She got worse. But one day, Jesus passed by. I want to tell you again. Do you believe the Word of God? In Amaranto Stadium, we have gathered the name of Jesus, and according to His Word, He is passing by. So when Jesus passed by the woman of the issue of blood, she made her way and she touched the hem of his garment. She did not touch his face. She did not get in his face. She just touched his garment. Oh, you may not be important. You may say, nobody knows my name. I'm sitting in the back row. Nobody can hear my voice. But you can just touch Jesus. Just say, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Jesus will stop. He never goes past a person who seeks his face. And then also in the book of Mark, we find a man named Bartimaeus. He is called blind Bartimaeus. All his life, he was known because he was blind. He was called blind Bartimaeus. Maybe people know you by your problem. They may know you, the drunk, the cancer victim, the poor person, the the broken home. What do people know you today by? Your broken home, your sickness, your sin. Bartimaeus was known by blind. He was tired of it. He wanted to be healed. And one day Jesus passed by to Jericho. And there's one road to Jericho. I've been there several times. If you come to Jericho, you go one way. If you leave Jericho, you go one way. So Bartimaeus knew, if I'm going to be healed, I've got to get to that one road where Jesus will pass by. I will say to you at the end of the day, there's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the door, and I am the life. I'm the true vine. I'm the light of the world. I'm the bread of life. If any man will come to me, I will no wise cast him out. Bartimaeus went looking for Jesus. He went where Jesus was, the Jericho Road. And when Jesus passed by, what did Bartimaeus do? He began to cry out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Today, will you cry upon the Lord? It's not that late. It's 50 minutes after four. There's lots of daylight left. There's lots of time before bedtime. Do you have time to call upon the Lord? Jesus, have mercy upon me. Jesus, heal my body. Jesus, yeah, I know you're passing by. The choir was anointed. The singing was powerful. Brother Smith is pouring his heart out. You're moving here today. I've got time to stop and say, Jesus, have mercy upon me. He cried so loudly. They said, stop. You're being a fool. You're making a radical self. Don't do it anymore. But what did Bartimaeus do? The Bible says he cried even more loudly. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. No matter who you're sitting by, you may say, well, I'm, I'm sitting by a stranger. I'm sitting by my girlfriend or my boyfriend. I, 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 I'm sitting by people that are unbelievers. I don't want to embarrass myself. Forget about who you're sitting by. Forget about the situation. If you need Jesus, Cry out to Jesus, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. So you see, God said, I am the Lord that forgives all your iniquities and heals all your infirmities. So first, I believe I'm a Christian because it tells me who Jesus is. Number two, I'm a Christian because when everything else fails, Jesus is a healer. COVID went rampant. Even the shots, even the vaccines did not stop it. They still have not found a cure for cancer. Jesus Christ is the answer. He is the healer of all mankind. And lastly, I want to talk why I'm a Christian. You see, man is made in the image of God. We are body and we're spirit. 
You see, God's a spirit, but when he wanted to take on himself a body, he took upon the flesh of Jesus Christ. And today we're made in the image of God. So we are spirit and we're body. And the soul, the man, when the body dies, it must go back to God. Let me tell you something. Hear me today. Everybody here, the Bible says it's appointed a man once to die and after this the judgment. Are you prepared to face God? We don't want to talk about it. You say, I'm young, I'm healthy, I, I, I'm not sick. I don't want to hear that. I, I came to hear good singing. I, hear, I came to hear good testimony. Don't talk about death. The Bible says it's a point of man wants to die, and after this, the judgment. Are you prepared to die? The prophet Amos said, prepare to meet thy God. Have you prepared? Really, the reason we're here, the reason God used the beloved evangelist Wilde Almeida and his wife, Pastora Lena Almeida, and the children, and the reason JMCI, April 16, 2023, is the same anointed church it was in 1985. The reason is because God is wanting to save souls. That's why God raised up the evangelist, his wife, to save souls. The ministry of Jesus Christ, the ministry of Jesus Christ was he came to seek and to save that was lost. He did not come to make men famous. He did not come that they build big buildings. He did not come that there be entertainment. Jesus Christ came to seek and to say that was lost. And that's why God used beloved evangelists and pastora, because they were seeking lost. So today, are you prepared to meet God? Jesus Christ said, I go away to prepare a place for you. That where I am, you too will be. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions. And in the book of Revelation, John described it in that place called the Holy City. Hear me today. There's a holy city. When the body goes back to the grave, the soul returns to God. And God puts us someplace. There are two places to go. The first place I'm going to talk about is the holy city. Because Jesus, God with us, Emmanuel, the wonderful, the counselor, the mighty God, Jesus said, and he does not lie. Can Jesus lie? No. He cannot lie. There's two things that God cannot do, and one thing he does not know. God does not know another God. And he cannot lie, and he cannot fail. God cannot lie. And God said, except the man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God, Jesus said, I go where to prepare a place for you. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. And then he gave John a glimpse of the holy city. The streets were gold. The walls were jasper. The gates were pearl. No cancer there. No death there. No war there. Life and happiness forever. But you can't go there unless you're born again. Unless you know who Jesus is. Unless you ask him to come in your life and make him king. Unless you repent of your sins and take his name in water baptism and your sins washed away and let his spirit reign in you. So there's a heaven. I would hope that everybody here wants to go to heaven. I hope that everybody here is born again. But Jesus warned us that many people aren't prepared because one day when it comes time to enter in, they'll say, Lord, Lord, did not we do this and such? And they had not done the right things. He said, depart from me. I don't know you. He knows those that know him. Remember, before he would use Peter, he said, Peter, he, want, he wanted to give Peter the keys. He wanted to use Peter to introduce the gospel on the day of Pentecost. He had great things to store for Peter. But before he would trust Peter, he said, Peter, who am I? Do you know who Jesus is? Have you made him king? Have you asked him to forgive you? Have you taken his name in baptism? Do you have his spirit within you? Jesus said, a man must be born again of the water and the spirit. But there's some place else to go to. You see, he cannot lie. He said, except a man is born again. Don't argue with me. Don't debate with the children. Except you've been born again. Have you been born again? This is what Jesus said. He went away to prepare a place for them that are ready and prepared. Have you prepared? 
I'm a Christian because I want to go to heaven. Hallelujah. I'm 80 years old. I'll be 80 in two weeks. I know this flesh will not live forever. I know that one day, the Lord will take me through death beyond. And when that time comes, my body will go to grave. But my spirit, my soul will be in the presence of God. Somebody say amen. Thank God for the holy city. Thank God for heaven. I want to tell you something. Nature teaches us their opposites. There's two sides, everything. There is day and there is night. There is light and there is darkness. There is good and there's evil. There is God and there's the devil. There is life and there is death. There is heaven and there is... Do not forget about hell. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. And after death comes, when sin is finished, it brings separation from God and being lost. In Luke chapter 16, we find the story of two men. One man was a beggar. He was poor, but he was right with God. And when the poor man died, when Lazarus died, angels came and took him to paradise. But when the rich man died, the Bible said he lifted his eyes in hell and cried out, Father Abraham. He was calling out to the other side. Send Lazarus, that man that was set at my gate and begged for crumbs, that man I had no time for, would you let him come? The only person that the rich man knew that was saved was a beggar. There may be people in this city that's rich, they may be senators, they may be doctors, they may be lawyers, they know nobody that's saved. That's why if you're saved and you know a doctor, a lawyer, a big person, tell them about Jesus. That's what the Apostle Paul did. He told Agrippa about Jesus. Tell somebody about Jesus. Except they know Jesus, they cannot be saved. The rich man knew nobody. He said, send Lazarus to put his finger in water. The rich man had everything. He was wealthy. He had purple. He had gold. He had silver. He had lots of money. He had horses. He had mansions. He had, he had castles. He had palaces. But he died. Nothing was important to him. He was in torment. He said, I am in torments in this flame. I don't want to hurt your feelings. But if you go to hell, there's torment. In Revelation it says, in the lake of fire, the smoke ascended forever. And the fire is not quenched, and the worm dieth not. What's it mean about a worm? It's not talking about caterpillars or fishing worms. The worm there is a name for a soul. What a lost soul that goes to hell in the eyes of God is a worm. What's a worm? A worm has no brain. A worm has no backbone. A worm lives in manure, dung, and filth. The soul that rejects Jesus. The soul that turns her back on God. The soul that follows the devil. The soul that sins has no backbone. Anybody can sin. Anybody can get drunk. Anybody can get fornicated. Anybody can be a homosexual. No backbone. God wants you to stand for something. Stand up and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Stand up and say, I rebuke the devil. The Bible said, remember the Creator in the days of your youth. Sin will take your mind. Brilliant people, doctors, theologians, scholars, mathematicians, generals, presidents, men who know lots of great things, sin takes their mind. They get drunk, they fornicate, they lie, they steal, they do bad things. Because sin messes up the brain. What do you think of the, the Bible says to be spiritually minded is life, but to be carnally minded is death. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? I want to get out of here. I want to go to the restaurant. I want to watch television tonight. I go to work tomorrow and, and I'll, I'll laugh with my friends and maybe I'll go to the club this week and maybe I'll take a few drinks and, and, and it's nobody's business if I, if I smoke some dope and if I got a girlfriend on the side it, that, that don't, nobody should know it's my life, leave, leave me alone. But God knows your sin. God knows where you are. The Bible says seek him while he might be found. Call upon him while he is near. This is the day to seek the face of God. And he said, the worm is in hell. No brain. Sin made them stupid. Sin makes people stupid. In America, there's a man named Donald Trump. 
He was president for four years. He was a good president. He'll never be president again. Too many people hate him. You know why they hate him? Although he was smart and rich and a good president, he was a fornicator. He was a liar. He sinned, and his sin found him out. What would America be today if he had not committed adultery and not lied and been a good man? But as smart as he was, as rich as he was, the devil blinded his mind. You see, in hell, there's the worm. Their minds are blinded. They have no backbone. They don't stand against sin. And then a worm lives in manure, in filth, in dung. When sin is finished, sin brings people, wonderful people. I was reading today on the internet, there was a woman in America called Whitney Houston. You may have heard about her. She was a beautiful singer, a great actress, beautiful face, beautiful voice. She could sing, she could sing the Pledge of Allegiance better than anybody ever sung. She sold millions of records, but she got into drugs. She lost her teeth. She lost her eyebrows. She lost her hair. She couldn't breathe. Her heart was stopping. And one day she took a bath and passed out and drowned her bathwater. 44 years old, a life ahead of her. But for all, for all of her money, all of her fame, Brit, Whitney Houston lived in dung. She lived in manure. She went to clubs. She took drugs. She committed fornication. She was a sinner. She, she disobeyed the word of God. I'm telling you, the Bible says in hell, the fire is not quenched. Think about it. That's the word of Jesus. Jesus cannot lie. He does not know another God. He cannot fail. He cannot lie. And he tells us in hell, the fire is not quenched. Do you know about that? I know we're in 2023. I'm 80 years old. I've been preaching since 1961. I remember years and years ago, you just simply mentioned hell and people run the altar. They didn't want to go to hell. But today, the world has blinded people. They don't believe the hell. They don't believe that there can be a judgment. I'm telling you, I didn't say it. Jesus said that the flame of the torment of sin forever and ever. He said in hell, the worm does not die. It lives on and on and on. And when the rich man realized that no water would come to him, think about it. Could I talk to you, please? From that side to this side, if you're not born again, if you die in your sin, if you don't make Jesus your king, if you don't follow Jesus and obey his word, he says, except you believe, you'll not be saved. If you don't do that, then prepare yourself when you die, you'll go to hell. Are you prepared for that? And the rich man realized he couldn't be saved. But he thought about something. He said, I've got five brethren who've not yet died. Maybe if a dead man would come back to life and go tell them about what I'm in and tell them there's a place called hell, maybe if, if they heard about it from a dead man who came back to life, maybe they'd repent. And the voice came back to him and said, your brethren have got Moses and the prophets. They've got the word of God. And if that's not enough, nothing will save them. In other words, if the word of God is not enough, if they cannot believe the word of God, if even one came back from the dead, what are you waiting on? Are you waiting for an angel to come to you? Are you waiting one night at 2 o'clock in the morning and God, the, an angel come and tap you on the shoulder and say, it's time for you to get ready. It ain't going to happen. Are you waiting for a sign in the sky that says, prepare to meet thy God? It's not going to happen. The way the Lord saves, he told the rich man, your brethren have got Moses and the prophets. They had the Old Testament. They had the prophets. They had the judges. They had the kings. And if that wasn't enough, nothing else would save them. I look to you today and say, here Jesus' miracle crusade at Amaranto has been shepherded by perhaps the greatest man of God and his wife had ever lived the beloved evangelist and his wife, Wilde and Lena Almeida, and now succeeded by the anointed children. If that's not enough, one coming back to the dead won't save you. An angel won't save you. 
Something in heaven won't have save you. You've got, you've, got, you've got Moses and the prophets. You've got the Old Testament. You've got the New Testament. You've got the apostles. You've got the prophets. You've got the pastors. You've got the evangelists. You've got the church. You've got the blood of Jesus. You've got the name of Jesus. You've got the Holy Ghost. Oh, my brothers and sisters, what does God have to do? He said, the beloved evangelist, Jesus' miracle crusade has reached the world. The anointing is still here. We're still preaching about Jesus. He still saying, come unto me and I'll receive you. This is your day. Don't just come for fellowship. Don't just come for entertainment. Don't just come to hear singing and a message. But I pray the message touches your heart. I'm a Christian because it tells me who Jesus is. I'm a Christian because I know when all doctors fail, he's the healer. I'm a Christian because it tells me how to be saved. Do you hear me? I know how to be saved. Thank God today you're not, you're not at some Muslim mosque with your forehead on the ground calling out to a, a moon god. Today you're not in some cathedral kissing a, a, a statue's feet. Today you're not in some a, a, a shrine in Hindu praying to some statue of Kali or, or, or Krishna. But today you're in Amarato Stadium. This is not a cathedral. It is not a temple. It's a sports arena. But the important thing is that Jesus Christ is here. He's passing by. And you're hearing about eternity. I ask you from this side to this side, have you prepared to meet God? Do you know who Jesus is? Is he your savior? Is he your healer? Are you prepared for eternity? Would you stand please? I'm going to ask the sister to sing. I want every head bowed and every eye closed. The Bible says this is the day of salvation. I have not preached that long tonight, only a few minutes. I'm leaving plenty of time. The sun is still up. The elders will be to pray with you. If you don't know who Jesus is, would you come down and stand and say, I want to know Jesus. Come and stand. He said, if you won't confess me before men, I won't confess you. Do you know who Jesus is? Come and stand. You may say, I, I don't want to be embarrassed. I, I don't want to feel conspicuous. You need the Lord. Do you need healing? Is it cancer? Is it heart problems? Is it arthritis? Is it rheumatism? Is it tumor? Is it leukemia? Jesus Christ is healer of all these things. He says, come unto me and I'll make you whole. So come and stand across the front. If you've not yet been saved, you want to go to heaven, come and stand. Because the only way you can go to heaven is repent of your sins. The Bible said, except a man repents, he will in no wise see the kingdom of God. I believe there's people coming. We're waiting for them right now. Prepare to sing, please. And as they're coming, you in the audience, would you raise a hand to heaven? Would you all raise a hand to heaven, please? It won't be long. And help me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, don't let one soul that heard me preach today be lost. Don't let one soul go to hell. We'll be Forgive them of their sins. Take their sins away. In the audience, pray. Would you raise a hand? Back there, in here. Jesus, when his name's been exalted, 
If you can't come to Jesus, when his name is being sung about, when he passes by, you'll never come. He's passing by right now. Come to Jesus. Sing it again, please.
palakpakan po natin ang ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon Jesus. Sa lahat po ng ating minamahal na mga bisita, mga baguha, na magiging kapatid sa ating pinakamamahal na Panginoong Jesus. Kayo po'y pinagpala sapagkat alam namin na ang ating dakilang Diyos mismo ang siyang nagdala sa inyo dito sa tunay na iglesia ng Diyos. Saksi po kayo kung paano kumikilos ang ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon. Narinig niyo po ang mga buhay na patutuo. Yan po'y magaganap din po sa inyo. Kung isuko nyo ang buhay nyo at tanggapin nyo ang ating pinakamamahal na Panginoong Isus. Sa ating minamahal na mga bisita, mga baguhan, ating live webcast viewers, meron pong apat na reglamento ng kaligtasan. Una po, kailangan mong sumampalataya sa nag-iisang Diyos na bumaba mula sa langit at nagpahayag bilang isang tao upang magdusa at mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo para sa kasalanan ng buong mundo at nabuhay na maguli upang patunayan siya ang nag-iisang Diyos wala nang iba ang ating pinakamamahal na Panginoong Isus. Ang pangalawa ay ang pagsisisi sa kasalanan. Kailangan pagsisihan mo ang lahat ng iyong mga kasalanan at iwanan ang makasalanang buhay na hindi mo na kailanman babalikan pa. Kapag nakita ng ating pinakamamahal na Panginoong Isus, na nais mong totoong magbago upang maging banal at matuwid, tutulungan ka niya. Ang pangatlo ay ang bautismo sa tubig sa pangalan na Yesus. Upang lubos na mapatawad ka, isusulat ang pangalan mo sa aklat ng buhay. Ang sabi po ng gawa 2.38, Mangagsisi kayo at mangagbautismo ang bawat isa sa inyo sa pangalan na Yesu Kristo sa ikapapatawad ng iyong mga kasalanan at tatanggapin niyo ang kaloob ng Espiritu Santo. Hindi po ito relihiyon. Ito po ang tunay na iglesia ng Diyos na yung relasyon mo sa Diyos sa ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon ay totoong magaganap. Siya ang iyong dakilang ama at ikaw ay magiging anak, mga minamahal. Kaya doon po sa mga, may mga nabautismuan na po kanina. Sa hindi pa nabautismuan, huwag kayong lilisa na hindi nabautismuan. Nakikita niyo po ang ating mahala kapatid na nakaluhod. May saklay yan kanina eh. Hirap makalakad. Pagkatapos ilubog sa tubig, lumuluhod siya. Nagpapakumbaba siya sa ating mahala Panginoon. Naramdaman niya ang kagalingan na kanyang karamdaman. Pinatawad siya ng ating mahal na Panginoon. Ang pang-apat ay ang bautismo ng banal na Espiritu. Habang ikaw ay nagpapatuloy sa pagdalo sa ating banal na gawain, sa tapat na paglilingkod at nagsusumikap kang sundin ang kalooban ng ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon, siya mismo ang magbabautismo sa inyo. Darating po yan, may tanda ng pagsasalita ng iba't ibang wika. At ito ang kapangyarihan upang patunayan ikaw ay magtatagumpay sa kaaway ng Diyos. Sa ating minamahal na mga bisita, mga baguhan, ngayon ang pagsuko sa ating pinakamamahal na Painoon. Tanggapin niyo siya bilang sariling tagapagligtas, Diyos at Hari ng inyong buhay. Itaas niyo po ang inyong dalawang kamay. Kayo po yung muko, pumikit at sumunod po sa panalangin ito. Hallelujah. Dakila at mapagpalang ama. Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, sa pangalan ng aming pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus, ako po ay isang taong makasalanan. At ako po'y nagsisisi sa lahat na nagawa kong pagkakasala sa iyo. Mula nung ako'y magkaisip hanggang sa mga oras na ito. Humihingi po ako ng kapatawaran sa iyo, dakilang Diyos. Pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus, tinatanggap kita ngayon bilang sarili kong tagapagligtas, Diyos at Hari ng aking buhay. Maglilingkod na po ako sa iyo mula ngayon hanggang sa iyong pagbabalik. Tulungan mo po akong masunod ang iyong banal na kalooban. 
iniibig kita, pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus. Pumasok ka sa aking puso na malik- marumi sa kasalanan. Hugasan mo po ako ng iyong banal na dugo na umagos doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo dahil sa aking mga kasalanan sa pangalan ng pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus. Kami po ang manalangin para sa inyo. Mapagpala naming Ama, Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Sa matamis na pangalan mo, pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus. At sa unang panalangin ng aming minamahal at iginagalag na mahala pastor, evangelista, wildi, almeda, yung end time prophet. Kami po itaos po sa nagmamasalamat na kilang Ama. Sa patuloy na pagliligtas mo na marami pang kaluluwa, narito po sila taos pusong tumanggap sa iyo. Dalagit po namin, dakila nga ba, patawarin mo po sila. Isulat mo ang kanilang pangalan dyan sa aklat ng buhay. Gawin mo po silang tunay na kristyano sa puso, sa gawa at katotohanan, tagapagmana ng buhay na wala hanggan. Iligtas mo po sila, sampu ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay, panghawakan mo po sila hanggang sa iyong pagbabalik. Ito ang aming samod na langin sa pangalan ng pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Pakibaba na lang po ang inyong mga kamay. Kayo po uh, nasunod na ang inyong una po ang pananampalataya. Pangalawa yung pagsisisi sa kasalanan. Yung pangatlo po, huwag po kayo lumisan. Yung mga hindi pa nabautismuan, magpabautismo kayo sa pangalan ng ating pinakamahamahal na Panginoong Yesus. Sa takdang oras, takdang panahon, siya naman ang magbabautismo sa inyo kung kayo'y tapat na maglingkod, ang banal na espiritu ay sa sa inyo. Magpapatuloy po tayo. Ito po yung simula, simula ng tapat na paglilingkod natin sa ating pinakamamahal na Panginoong Yesus. Anyayahan niyo po ang inyong mga kaibigan, mga kamag-anak na hindi pa po na-save sa gawain na ito upang tayong lahat ay magmana ng buhay na wala hanggan. At ang pangako ng Diyos, dito pa lang sa mundo, Thy will be done, sabi ng ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon, as it is in heaven. Dito pa lang, totoo po, masaganang pagpapala ang darating sa bawat isa. God bless you all, at tayo tuloy-tuloy na po sa lahat po ng ating mga pangangailangan. Prayer for the sick, ating ibigay po ang buong pagkakataon sa ating beloved ordained preacher, beloved brother Rob Blanco. God bless you, my beloved preacher, beloved Joey, mga minamahal tayo po yung mag-aisang namalangin. Ano man ang ating mga pangailangan, ano man ang ating mga prequest, mga minamahal, hallelujah, hallelujah, ang ating mahal na Panginoon na katunghay sa atin sa mga oras, mga minamahal, praise the Lord, sumampala tayo po tayo ng ating dakilang Diyos at tutugunin lahat ng ating mga dalangin, mga minamahal, hallelujah, sa pangunang dalangin ng totoong propeta ng ating dakilang Diyos, manalangin po muna tayo ng pagsisisi, mga minamahal, dakila po namin Diyos. <coughs> na makapangirihan sa lahat, pinakamamahal na Panginoon Yesus. Narito po kami sa iba na lapanahan, mahal na Panginoon. Nagpapakumaba kami, mahal na Panginoon. Nagsisisi sa lahat ng ayaw, pagkukulang, pagkakasala, mga naisip na gawa ng sabi, hindi kaya ayos ang harapan, mahal na Panginoon. Patawarin mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Tulungan mo kami, mahal na Panginoon. Masunod po namin. Lahat mong kautusan, mahal na Panginoon. Magkaroon ng totoong pananampalataya sa kalugod-lugod na pananampalataya sa iyo, mahal na Panginoon. Hallelujah. At magamit mo rin po kami, mahal na Panginoon, sa napakalawak mong gawain na napakaraming pamaligtas, lalo po ng aming mamahal sa buhay, mahal na Panginoon. Gawin mo kaming ilaw at sa sin, sa libot ng ito, Diyos. At naroon ang aming totoong pagpapasalamat, dakilang pasasalamat sa iyo, mahal na Panginoon. Nagkalawag ka ng totoong mong propeta, amin na maginigal, mahal na Pastor, beloved mama, dear beloved children, mahal na Panginoon, upang pangalagaan kami, mahal na Panginoon. Itinalagaan ang buong buhay, mahal na Panginoon, upang pangalagaan ang iyong banal iglesia, mahal na Panginoon. At natamu namin lahat ng mabiyay ang pinag- ang ako mo, mahal na Panginoon. Higit sa ang kaligtasan, buhay na walang hanggan, mahal na Panginoon. Ang kalakasan, maabang buhay namin, mga ginagal, mahal na Pastor, na all the way with children, mahal na Panginoon, ay maging daan, mahal na Panginoon, ay papangaral ang buong katotohanan sa buong kinapal, mahal na Panginoon, na bago ka magbabalik lahat ng iyong mga hindi rang o Diyos, ay madala sa iyong paanan, mahal na Panginoon. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you so much, there is Jesus! Glory, glory, glory to God! Purihin ka, mahal na Panginoon.
Mga minamahal, ilayas po natin ating mga sarili, mga minamahal, isang kamay, ipatong po natin sa ating ulo, ang kabila sa parte ng katawan na may karamdaman, at isipin po natin natin kagalanggalang mga pastor, evangelist, wulis, rado, meda, ang naglayas po sa ating mga minamahal, isipin din po natin mga minamahal, ang ating mga labwas, ilayas ng ating kagalanggalang mga pastor, alalo, i-cast out po natin lahat ng masamang espiritu karamdaman, mga problema, mga bisyo, alalo, banggitin po natin sa pangalan ni Jesus, demonyo ng cancer, demons of cancer, look Kimia, asthma, diabetes, hallelujah, leprosy, and believe in the Oscar, not even to be glory, pride, lust, covetousness, materialism, hallelujah, marital problems, financial problems, drug addiction, lahat ng guring karamdaman, panlalamig, panlulupay-pay, lumayas kayo sa mga pangarap, pangalit sa kasaw, 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 in Jesus' name, be healed, be healed, from some sunrise of Five Bibles begun in the mighty name of Jesus. Be hear me, bless in Jesus' name. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Puri ng ating mga lupang mga minamahal. Pasalamatan po natin ng ating mga lupang inoon. Mga minamahal, may sampan tinugo ng ating madalangin. Ang kapangyarihan ng ating dakilan ng Diyos ay sumasaan din sapagat nais ng totoong propeta ng ating mga lupang inoon na ang panalangin ay nakaabot sa trono ng biyay ng ating mga lupang mga minamahal. At bilang pasasalamat sa ating mga lupang mga minamahal na pinagpala po tayo lahat ng ating madalangin, tinugo ng ating mga lupang inoon sa malang kaparaanan. Amin naman, isisigaw po natin ng buong lakas, mga minamahal. Diyan po sa taas, sa grandstand, huwag na po tayong lulok sa dyan, mga minamahal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sisigaw na po lang po tayo ng malakas. Sa baba na lang po, lulok sa mga minamahal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ibagay po natin ang pasasalamat, pagpupuri, paglawalahati sa ating malamay sa magitan natin pagsigaw ng hallelujah. Praise the Lord. More than a million times yan na pagpupuri sa ating malamay noon. Tatlong beses, mga minamahal. Sabay, sabay po tayo. Sabay, lukro, mga minamahal. Praise the Lord! Palapakan po natin natin mga na Panginoon! Hallelujah! Pagkitin po natin I love you, there is Jesus! Thank you, there is Jesus! Hallelujah! 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 Puri ka mga na Panginoon! Glory, glory, glory to God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! God bless you po, mga na mahal! Puri ng ating mga na Panginoon! At ay po itadako po, mga na mahal, sa ating po announcements through our beloved or their preacher, Dr. Rick Alarcon. Amen. God bless you po with Urban Precure, Billy Ralph Blanco. At mga minamahal, muli sa ating po ang mga mahalaga announcement po sa lahat-lahat na ating minamahal na kinigilin na inibigin ng mahal na kapatiran po natin at sa mga visitors po, sa mga baguan. At sa inyo po, mga pinagpalang ng aming minamahal na kababayang Pilipino sa lahat ating minamahal na webcast viewers. Mga minamahal, ang banalagawain po natin ay Merkulis, Biyernes at Linggo po. Mga minamahal, ito po natin na Merkulis po, mga minamahal, alauna ng hapon, hanggang alas 6 ng hapon natin pong central live streaming po ating sa, sa ating Villornet. Pastor Laos po, yan po ay, uh, yan po ay uh, ito po narating na Merkulis po mga minamahal at sa darating naman po na Biernes, ganun din po, same time din po every Friday, tayo po nag-start po na 1pm up to 6pm po ang ating pong live streaming ay uh, sa ating pong Villornet, Pastor Laos at next week naman mga minamahal muli ay uh, ang, uh, yan po ay uh, ang petsa po yan ay uh, April 23 po, dito po tayo muli sa Amoranto Stadium or Amoranto Sports Complex. Next Sunday po muli dito po sa lagor nito. Same time din po from 10 in the morning up to 4.35 p.m. At uh, sa mga baguhan po, inyo po mapapunod ang Jesus Mercury Crusade sa pamagitan po ng FB page JM. CM Central Live Stream at sa pabagitin rin po ng ating YouTube channel, JM CM TV. May, mayroon po tayong uh, TV program. Ito po ay uh, sa araw po ng Sabado, sa gabi po yan, sa PTV4, ang ating pong, uh, TV uh, program, ang Jesus Mercury Crusade. Yan po yung mula po 10.30 p.m. gabi ng Sabado hanggang uh, alas 12 po ng ating gabi. One and a half hour at ating pong TV Crusade sa so, Channel 4 at ang ating naman pong radio program. Yung pong subay-ibayan, pakinggan ng Jesus Mercury Hour at ito pong radio program sa DZME, sa Radio Uno. Radio Uno, 15, 15.30 kHz. Yan po isa AM man. Lunes hanggang Sabado po ang ating pong radio program. Sa ganapan, alas 11 ng gabi hanggang alas 12 ng ATV. Our website, www.jmcm.org. At maaaring din po kayong tumawag, mga unamal, sa ating minamal ang mga viewers po, sa mga nagnanais pong magpapanalangin po o magpapayo po, 8372-9194 at 8375-1148. Maari po kayo sa mga nagnanais pong magpadala ng kalapang mga offerings, inyo pong mga tithes, inyo pong mga 
pledges vows at the pong JMSM bank ang video favor bonds po yung kahit sa brands po ng video na isinwad yung pong mga ididepositor po, po ang yung pong mga yung pong mga blessings o mga offerings tithes and offerings nyo po mga vows sa ating pong uh, JMSM bank account ito po isa pong SA or savings account Jesus Merkel Crusade and sa nasimulit or Jesus Merkel Crusade or JMSM or JMC yan po mga account names po natin nasa yan po yung nasa database po ng Banco de Oros savings account number 000-0000-3902-68577 at uh, sa ating pong uh, pagkatapos mga minamahal ay akin na po nga inihanyahan ang boss sa po'y tumayo. Kaili po, tumayo na po tayo at atin na pong ibigay lahat ng panahon para sa pangunan sa panalangin. Sa pagkatapos, ating mahala kapatid, Glad Brother Johnny, my beloved co preacher Amen. First the Lord God bless you, beloved or the preacher, beloved Dr. Kalarkun, mga minamahal. Tayo po'y sama-samang dumalangin, dakila at mapagpala namin ang mga banal na nasa langit. Aming Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Sa matamis pangalan mo, aming pinakamamahal na Panginoong Isus. At sa unang dalangin na aming kagalang-galang at pinamala pastor, Ibangilista Wilde Strad Almeda, your in time prophet, pinakamamala pa Isus, kayo po ito ang puso na nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat sa matagumpay at natapos yung banal na gawain na yung pinagpalat nilang isan at maraming maraming salamat po sa Ibanghilyo na kaligtasan na aming napakinggan sa araw na ito. At lalong higit sa lahat, sa iyong matamis at banal na presensya na patuloy namin at darama sa tuwi na maraming maraming salamat po at sa aming pag-uwi, gabayan mo po kami pag-ingatan para tingin mo po kami ng maluhati sa aming mga tahanan at ilayo mo po kami sa lahat ng mga gawa ng kaaway at patuloy mo ibuhos ang masaganang biyaya at pag-iingat sa lahat ng aming malamang kapatiran, sa lahat ng aming malamang webcast viewers sa buong Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. Ito po ang aming samot na langin sa matamis at makapangyari ang pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you, beloved kuyas, beloved brethren, our beloved family, there is Papa, hallelujah, our beloved Bishop Smith, for the wonderful uh, message. Glory to God. Pagpalain ko mga minamahal ng ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon, kahit mainit. If you stay, amen. Glory to God. We love you all, mga minamahal. Our beloved family, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of my dearest Lord. Oh, I can see in your eyes the glory of my King. Yes, I
bless you all po mga minamahal. We love you all in the Lord. But our dearest Jesus loves you more and more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, beloved Bishop Smith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus.